this may be overwrought or unpopular, but I am I am getting deluged with, um, oh my God, we're so excited about Kamala messages <laughs> from everybody. And I'm, I don't like it. I, um, I mean, I have a lot of positive feelings and I also have some negative feelings, but overall this like uh, push to be like, we are all super fans. Like right. feels, we've always been super yeah, fans. Yeah, it feels really um, uh, uh, dishonest to me. Mm. And I, I feel like, like, a month ago, none of you cared at all about this person. Do we have to be like, yeah, we're Swifties for her um, and Tam and everything? Or can we just be like, oh, wow, this feels a lot better to me. I'm, I'm having, I'm hopeful about this. It, it, I feel like if we don't, you know, if you, you can't bend, you're going to break. And putting people up to this level of like, they're perfect. They're our new savior is like, well, she, she's not going to live up to that. Nobody. Can live up right. to that. So, right. what, are you? Are we all going to have our hearts broken? Are we all going to expect to care this much about whoever the next person is? And right. It, um, the it just feels part. desperate in a weird way. Right. Right. Don't oversell it. I feel like yeah. is, the, is the thing. And I will say, like to her credit, I feel like unlike Hillary Clinton, who I think really oversold it. When you're like, I don't even know what you're selling. Um, I think Kamala's herself, her demeanor feels. A little bit less like I'm yeah. overselling myself, but pe but for sure the like surrounding energy. By the way, these are the same people who are probably like mad at you for like criticizing Joe Biden and who are like John Stewart's actually changed. Fuck him for saying Biden just yeah. like yeah. No, I mean I don't love Bill Maher anymore, but no, no, no. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> totally. There's there's like you know there is um there's a cultishness that I feel like. Uh, Democrats are like, you know, we don't have to actually do this. Um, and it does remind me, although there was actual real excitement around Obama, um, but I was such a negative Nancy when he won. I cried, obviously, because like eight years of Bush, I fucking cried. Um, but I remember being at like the celebration parties and I was like, he's not going to be good. My friend was like, <laughs> shut up and enjoy it. Just shut up and enjoy it. I was like, you're right. You're right. Just yeah. for tonight. Yeah. Yeah. My sister was like, you're a naysayer. You're so uh, cynical. I'm like, I'm not cynical i'm not like <laughs> i'm just saying this to you my sister i'm not like loving the the thousands of memes i'm getting that's right. all <laughs> well, let, let me ask you a question eliza what could excite you about kamala harris changing her stance on palestine yeah that's fair hey that's <laughs> i mean it's uh, not to piggyback too much off of what you just said but that like that feels like Again, one of the, the the elements of dishonesty. Yeah. Like, wow, this person, she's gonna, she's great. She's gotta do everything. Like, yeah. Uh, uh, well, I already don't love how she's addressing this huge right. thing. Right, right, right. Um, that you know clearly means a lot to a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and I think we need to see like if we. Oh, I have a lot of thoughts. We'll talk about whether she'll <laughs> on that, but I do think that we also need to see like some concrete. Hey. You know, uh, what is your plan for the care economy that, you know, she wants to expand, um, you know, continue Biden's um, economic proposals? You know, you know, like Joe Manchin made Biden walk away from his whole fucking plan mm -hmm. to give universal uh, paid family leave. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, and universal health care would be meaningful to me. But I also uh, I also want to say I don't necessarily expect her to do all of the things that I would or to say that she wants to do all the things that I would really want. Because I also know she's got to win a great big election. Like, right. Running this country is like driving a van with 100 wheels, 100 hands on the wheel. You know, <laughs> like you can't, oh God, yeah. it's very hard to make any turns or anything. It's like so an I unmarked white van too. It's yeah. very creepy. <laughs> yeah. So she doesn't need to be like, Eliza Skinner, your priority list is mine now. Um, because I know that that would turn off a lot of other people. Um, but I think that's why the idea of being like, she's perfect. Right. She's everything I want her to be. is like, no, she's not. And she's not supposed to be. She's supposed well, to be the greatest common denominator for the good of the most people in this country, not <laughs> the small number of billionaires that have stolen it from us. You know? What's going on, Frantifa? If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel right now. Hit that button. And also, you can become a patron and support the show every single week. Get access to bonus episodes and exclusive merchandise. Patreon.com slash Bituation Room. Do it.